All right, welcome back, everybody. Let's have a look at the, the words that we need to create for compounds with regards to environment. We are on, on page 45 and we are looking at exercise number two. So let's see, we should already have the answers. So the first one, could you tell us, uh, Jakub, the first one, the earth is heating up, the average? Uh, I'm not really sure, but I guess it could be surface. Temperature. You are absolutely right. Uh, so surface temperature, we are talking about the surface of what exactly? Uh, the surface of the earth. Of the earth, excellent. Number two, when we burn, uh, Honza? Hmm. Honza T, yeah. Uh, fossil fuels. Yeah, excellent. Can you give us example of fossil fuels? For example, uh, oil. Oil, uh, excellent. There's more, but we will talk about it later. They give off what kind of gases, uh, Joshua? Can you tell us? Uh -huh. um, I'm not sure with this one. Couldn't figure it out. Uh -huh. Oh, greenhouse. There we go. Greenhouse gases. That can be. Um, there are more kinds of. There are more kinds. All right. We will see. Look, this might be. There might be different. Yeah, from this, it must be greenhouse. This causes what kind of warming? Uh, maybe easy. Can you try? Global warming. Excellent. So all around the world. We have cut down over 50% of the Earth's, uh, what do we say? Tomáš, can you try? Tomáš M. Uh, the Earth's rain forests. Uh-huh, that's it. Good job. Uh, then we have some scientists believe that by 2050, about 35% of all plant and animal species could die out because of uh, Matiash, because of what? Climate change. Yes, good job. Number seven, levels are rising. What kinds of levels? Uh, Wojciech, can you try? Sea levels. Excellent, good. Uh, and the polar, Tomasz R, can you tell us? Ice. Ice, yeah. Can you say it together? Ice. Um, the ice caps. Yeah. Are melting. Sea levels are rising, and the polar ice caps are melting. Yes. And if they are melting, ice will become what, Tomash? If it melts, ice will become what? Water. Water. There we go. Excellent. And the last one. Scientists say that fossil fuels like coal or gas may run out by year three thousand. So we can relax, I guess. So we need to develop alternatives such as, um, for example, Andre, can you try? Such as what? Uh, such as? Obnovitelne zdroje. Renewable. Energy. Renewable, there we go. All right, easy peasy, I believe. Now let's see the, the um, phrasal verbs that we have here. We learned some of them last time and here there are a few more. So can you explain what do we mean when I say that something gives off greenhouse gases? Can we translate it? Anybody wants to try? Give off? Vypouštět. Then we have cut down over 50%. Porazíme stromy, že jo? Takže porazíme, anebo... Vysekat něco, to by vykácet, přesně, v tomhle tom kontextu. And if I say cut down numbers, cut down losses, for example, cut down něco snížit, anebo zaříznout, aby už něco nepokračovalo dál. Třeba mám nějaké ztráty, dejme tomu, and then I will cut down the losses. Nechci už ztrácet víc, takže cut down the losses. Raději ztratím méně než víc. OK? So cut down simply means you stop the process of something. That's one idea. The second can be you cut down a tree, which would be here, right? The next, uh, die out. Some species could die out. Anybody knows? How can Vimzit. we translate? Vimzit. Uh, Vimzit. Vimzit. Does anybody know uh, another way to say it? Go extinct. Go extinct. Excellent. That's it. We will have it in the presentation soon. Then scientists say that fossil fuels like coal and gas may run out. If we run out of something, Anybody knows? Doido. Doido. Even in Czech, we have the phrasal verb. So run out of something, you don't have it anymore. You use it, you use it until you use it up. 
we had it last time, use up. Excellent, let's revise it one last time. I have this here. So we are going to talk about environment in a discussion just in a second, but let's just have a look at the compounds we had. So what are these things? Can you tell us, for example, uh, Honza, ooh, can you tell us? What is this? We have just said the word, right? Can you find it? You have it in the book. Mm. Lead of ice, ice, and uh, what? ice, ice, que, que, que. ice cracker. No, <laughs> I, 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 no problem. Uh, we ha you have it in the book, no? It's in the yeah. book. I mean, yes, but um... ice cap, ice cap, ice no? cap. Oh, All right, ice caps. That's it. So that's the, the, the icy covering of the earth in the north and south. And also, um, what do we call what do we call the ice that will float on water? I call it a Simon. Anybody knows what we would call it? An iceberg. An iceberg. So I'm writing it in the chat. And do you know what we call the, the different kind of ice that is just on land? We can call it ice caps, but do you know what, what else we call it? There's one more word. It starts with G. Gla glacier. Okay. So glacier je ledovec, ale na zemi. Glacier. And then iceberg je zase ledovec, ale ten už je na vodě. Okay. So that's a different... In English, they have different words for that. So be careful, yeah. And ice caps that will cover uh, everything icy, basically, that is uh, in the north and south. All right. Let's try the next... Um, here, what, what do you think we wanted to say, Valerie? If you look at, again, the words we have just said, what is the word here for this? Um, sea levels. Sea levels, there we go. Thank you. Then these, coal, gas, and oil, they together, they make what? Uh, for example, um, okay, Joshua, can you try? Together, they make what? Um, yes, oil. Fuel, some kind of fuel. And what kind of fuel? We have just learned it. Can you find it in the book? Fossil, uh, fossil fuel. Fuel. Fossil fuels. There we go. Thank you. Then here, what, what kind of energy is this? Uh, Using, can you try? Renewable. Yeah, that's it. Renewable energy. Huh? Don't forget. Uh, then we have this part. There are two words here that we have mentioned. Uh, Honza, T, can you tell us? Uh, climate change. Mm -hmm. One possibility. And the second? Uh, Skleníkový... Uh, greenhouse uh, gases. Greenhouse gases, yes. And I also call it greenhouse effect, which basically uh, is the same idea, but it's the process of uh, heating up the atmosphere. All right, thank you. And the last part here, Jakub, can you try? Jakub L. Uh, uh... Rainforest. Rainforest, excellent. Or jungle. That's it. Thank you. Well done. Let's have a look at a few extra words that I would like to teach you before you have a discussion. These words are right here. Some of them will be quite similar. So let's see. The first part is landfill or rubbish dump. Which picture is it? What do you think, Andrzej? Can you try? Landfill or rubbish dump? Uh, which one? Well, which picture do you think we're talking about? Number one, uh, landfill rubbish dump. Which the second picture? one, the the one at the top right corner. Excellent, good. So, can you translate it to? Uh, skladka. Skladka, výborně. Vládia, can you try number two? Regulation. We had it when we talked about uh, food, if you remember. Uh, maybe uh, uh, right down corner. Yeah, bottom right corner. Yeah, that's it. So regulation. What is regulation about, Vladia? Why would we need it? No. How, how many uh, you can... Uh, uh -huh. Gas or, or smoke? Or uh, what kind of gases, Vladia? Greenhouse. Greenhouse gases uh, you can uh, give off. Yeah, or fossil fuels or renewable energy, right? So regulation can be about this, how much fossil fuel you can use, how much renewable energy you should use, how much greenhouse gases you can give off, for example, yeah? Thank you. 
Thank you. Let's try number three. Endangered species may go extinct. We have heard the word go extinct before. I believe this should be easy. Uh, uh, maybe easy. Can you try? The second from and uh, with animals. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. And uh, what endangered species can you see here? Mm, probably kangaroos. Kangaroo and, and this? Koalas. Koala, that's it. There we go. I don't, I don't remember. I think it's number four here. No, yeah, that's the next one. So can you translate it for me, Matthias? Endangered species may go extinct. V nebezpečných situacích. Uh, no, 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 species jsou druhý, druhý zvířat třeba. Takže ohrožené druhý zvířat yeah. mohou, a co, go extinct? Vymřít. Vymřít, nebo vyhnou. Do you remember the phrasal verb for go extinct? Anybody? We had it in the book. Uh, die out. Die out, excellent. Good job. What about number four, zoo or safari? That's easy, no? Tomáš, El, can you tell us? Zoo or safari? Oh, the zoo or safari. Yeah, and which picture is it? Which one is the closest? Um, like that's top left. Top left here with the uh, with the gases. Like I'm not sure. Like none of this looks like safari or zoo. Uh, well, one of them. Uh, well, it's about animals, right? And you can see there is oh, another uh, so another this one. Oh, yeah. I Oh, I thought it was no, no problem. Picture. Don't worry, no problem, no problem. We can use uh, this picture twice. And what's the difference between a zoo and safari? Do you know, Tomáš? Um, safari is like open for cars to drive in and like look around. And there are also different animals. Like zoo is like the giant complex that has like everything. In yeah, excellent, good places. job. Let's try the next uh, Tomáš M. Fossil fuels, oil, coal, natural gas. So uh, they are separate in different pictures. You can tell me. So the first one, oil. Where can we find oil? Um, the one above the animals. Yeah, good job. Sorry, yeah. Uh, basically, so let's start there because I have this number there. So what is this then? Coal. Under... Come again? Coal. Coal, excellent. Then uh, what is this? Uh, oil. Oil. And on the left, on the left and the bottom? Natural, natural gas. Yeah, excellent. Good. Five and five. Yeah, that's it. So uh, let's try, let's summarize. So natural gas or simply gas, you can call it. Then here we have oil. Or this is coal. Thank you very much. All together, we call it fossil fuels. And the last one, pollution, smog, oil spill, for example. Um, Joshua, can you try this one? Sure. Um, the smog is the on the left top, yeah. top left, Let's and see. the oil spill is the last one. Yeah, last one missing basically, thank you. So uh, as you see here, smog is the smoke and fog together, spill, oil spill because the oil gets out. Anybody knows what we would call this kind of platform in the sea, you know, for, um, for basically harvesting and mining oil? Anybody knows? A rig. Yeah, excellent, good. Oil rig, yeah, we would call it. And then this kind of spill can happen from oil rigs or the tankers. When they have ships going around, this, this kind of uh, disasters can happen. We would call it an oil spill. Excellent. Um, then pollution. How can we translate the word pollution? Wojtěch, can you try? Pollution. Znečištění, výborně. A potom znečištěné jezero třeba, polluted lake, znečištěná řeka, polluted river. Excellent. Are there any questions? No? So now the last part is about power, uh, power plants. I want to show you here. You will see power plants here. Let's discuss what kinds of power plants there are. Okay? The first one here on the left. Anybody can tell me what kind of power plant is this? What, what could we call it for producing energy from water, right? Uh, anybody knows what we would call this kind of power plant? A water dam. To je přehrada přímo, water dam. Yeah, but if you want to tell me about the power plant, we would call it, uh, yeah, I will write it here, water dam přehrada. And water dams can be used for harvesting energy, but 
you know, maybe not. Some of them don't do that. So we would call it a hydro power plant, hydro coming from hydrogen, from water, right? Easy. The next year, we use the power plant and we produce energy from volcanoes or some hot springs, perhaps. Anybody knows? Geothermal power plant. Excellent. Good job. Geothermal. Here, this we use just fossil fuels, one kind. It's black. Anybody remembers? Eko uhelna, elektrárna, uhelna, uhlí, you remember the word? Coal power plant. Coal power plant, excellent. Here, this is easy, no? It happened in Chernobyl. We talked about nuclear meltdown maybe a week ago, right? So this nuclear meltdown, what kind of power plant is it? Anybody? Nuclear power plant, yeah? Nuclear power plant, easy. Next one, anybody knows? Wind, wind power plant. Uh, pronunciation, wind, wind, yeah, wind. Power plant, yeah, but good, that's okay. Uh, and the last one? Solar power plant. Solar, solar power plant. Excellent, well done everybody. So that's basically all the words that we need for the following discussion. Are there any questions? All right, if not, then I will show you the questions. But uh, thank you very much. You know a lot already. Yeah, I'm happy to see that.